So this video is part two of the GoPro Max mobile app editing tutorial. In part one, we looked at how to create keyframes and we looked at reframing and overcapture. And you can see that video here. In this video, I'm gonna guide you through step by step on how to bring all those clips together into one sequence using GoPro Stories. My name is Rich from Eat Sleep 360, and if you're interested in hints, tips, tutorials, and reviews around 360 photos and 360 videos, then please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Open up the GoPro app and select the second icon in from the bottom. Now select Start a New Story. You can now select items from the GoPro app from your phone or from the GoPro Cloud. Once you've selected your clips, then press the tick icon and the story editor screen will open with all your clips in slot holders next to one another at the bottom of the screen. The story editor automatically trims your clips and adds transitions and music to your sequence. And the artificial intelligence that it uses in the software is actually really good. So you could just change the title of your clip and export it and you're done. But there's so much more you can do which we will explore in more detail in a minute. Before we do that, let's look at the main menu and all the auto story options. On our main opening page, we have our timeline which shows our edited sequence. The next icon along is our themes. And this is where we can select different themes for the auto story editor and it will change the pace, the music, the transitions and the graphics all automatically and there are several to choose from. If you tap the pencil icon that's on top of the theme that you've selected, it will allow you to change the font graphic for your title and you can change it from normal to bold. Once you're happy with any changes, then select the tick icon. The next icon along on the main screen is the music icon and here you can select a different music track from the 12 music tracks at the bottom that are categorised under summer, epic, night, travel, outdoors and various other categories. But it doesn't stop there, if you want more music options, Tap the plus icon and it will take you to the GoPro Music Library where you can download dozens of music tracks under different categories. You just select the track and then it automatically downloads and adds it to your edit. You can also access your own music library on your phone by selecting My Music. Make sure you've given permission for the app to access your music in your settings menu. The next icon along on the main screen is where you adjust the story length so the length of your final video. And also here you're given AI suggestions for the length of the clip for use on Instagram or a suggested point where the music has a good ending. The final icon in the bottom right hand corner of the main screen is where you can adjust your aspect ratio, so the size of your final frame. And you can choose between 16 9, 1 by 1, 9 by 16 or 4 by 3. So let's go back to the main timeline screen and look at ways we can make more adjustments to each clip in our sequence. The first thing you want to do, even if you are using the auto story editor, is to change the title. So select the title box at the start of the sequence and then tap the pencil icon. Tap in the middle of the screen or tap the text icon and you can now change your title. Once you're happy, press the tick icon. You can change the duration of the title by selecting the duration icon and changing between short, medium and long and once you're happy with this again press the tick icon. Now from this point you can slide to the left and see the next clip in your sequence. Underneath your clip you'll see a number of other options that you can use to change how your clip looks. The first icon is trim. When you select it you'll see that by default it's on auto and if you want to override this you select manual and then you manually trim the clip by sliding the left bar in to where you want the clip to begin and the right bar in to where you want the clip to end. When you're finished, click on the tick icon. The next icon along is frame, where you can change the aspect ratio, so the frame size of your shot. Also here you can rotate your shot, you can flip it horizontally or you can flip it vertically. And you can also fine tune the rotation of your shot by moving your finger along here. Then press the tick icon to go back to the main page. The next icon along is filter, where you can choose from various filters that will change the look of your image, changing colour, saturation, contrast, etc. all at once by selecting one filter. The next icon along is speed, where you can make some adjustments to the speed of your shot. The final editing option is volume, where you can mute the original audio track, or you can mix the original audio track with the music, so you can hear both or you can boost it which will enhance the volume of the original track. A couple of other things before we finish. Once you've selected a clip and selected the edit icon, 
You can also remove the clip from your timeline by selecting the three dots and clicking on remove from story. Or you can duplicate the clip here as well which will add a duplicate of the clip next to the original on the timeline. If at any point in the timeline you want to insert a clip into your sequence you can select this icon here. So find the point where you want to insert a clip, select the icon and then select the clip you want to insert and it will appear on your timeline at this point. If we slide to the end of your timeline you'll see the GoPro logo and this comes up by default at the end of your sequence and if you want to disable it you can easily do this by selecting the disable button. Once you're happy with your story edit select save and then your sequence will save to your stories in the app. From here you can export it to your phone's camera roll or share it by selecting the story and then tapping the blue export icon here. After watching this tutorial I hope now you feel confident that you can go away and start editing your own story sequences. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and you've learned something new please give it a thumbs up and make a comment below. If you want to see more tutorials like this then please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss out on any new content and I'll see you on the next video.